we want to give you a sneak peek at where we're going with Mac OS X. And so today, we are going to give you a preview of the eighth major version of Mac OS X, and we call it Lion. Now, what is the big idea? Well, that's where Back to the Mac comes from. What we've done is we started with Mac OS X, and we created from it a version called iOS, which we used in the iPhone. And we invented some new things, and we've perfected it over the last several years, and it's now used in the iPad as well. Well, what we like to do is we're inspired by some of those innovations in the iPad and the iPhone. We'd like to bring them back to the Mac. And so that's what Lion's about. Mac OS X meets the iPad. And uh, we haven't got time to show you everything today, but we wanted to give you a taste of the philosophy behind it and show you a few of the key features that we're working on. Multi-touch gestures. You know, the first thing you think about is this. We thought about this years ago. We've done tons of user testing on this, and it turns out it doesn't work. Touch surfaces don't want to be vertical. It gives great demo, but after a short period of time, you start to fatigue, and after an extended period of time, your arm wants to fall off. It doesn't work. It's ergonomically terrible. Touch surfaces want to be horizontal, hence pads. For a notebook, that's why we've perfected our multi-touch trackpads over the years, because that's the best way we've found to get multi-touch into a notebook. The App Store has been huge, as you know, and so we'd like to bring it to the Mac. And as part of Lion, we're going to have a Mac App Store. And when you get your apps, you're going to have a single place to put them, which is the launch pad. Again, home screens for your apps, just like on the iPad. And the last three we're doing as well, and I think you can imagine those. There's one other thing we'd like to show you today we call Mission Control. It's a way to view everything running on your Mac and instantly navigate to anywhere. See it right here in my dock with a click. Launchpad leaps forward to this beautiful full screen grid of my apps. I also can create folders just like on iOS. I'm going to open up some windows. We have App Store here. I'm going to open up the App Store, Safari, iCal, iTunes, and let's say a, uh, a Pages document here. So I can, of course, flick between these different experiences here like this, and that's really convenient. But we've made it, made it even better. What we've done is unified Windows, full screen apps, dashboard, and even spaces into a single place. A place where you can get at anything on your Mac from wherever you are. And we call that place Mission Control. I'm going to take you there right now. The gesture on my trackpad, I enter Mission Control. We'll unveil this uh, over time as we get closer to releasing it. Our plan is to release Lion this summer, summer 2011. Well, I'd love to. I'm told I don't have enough time to tell you about 10 key new features. So we'll really get into 10 awesome features. First up, right into it, number one, multi-touch gestures. So now Lion can count on multi-touch. From the beginning, you can have beautiful, fluid, momentum-based scrolling. You can have incredible multi-touch taps to zoom in on stories or pictures. You can dynamically zoom with beautiful, fluid pinch motions. You can swipe through your photographs, your slides, your web pages all with an incredible physical realism that's never been possible with a PC operating system before. Number two, full screen applications. Next feature. For many users, this will be the best feature of Lion. It's called Mission Control. Next up, the Mac App Store. Number five, a simple but powerful idea, Launchpad. Next, resume. Now when you launch an application in Lion, it brings you right back to where you were when you quit. It remembers what documents you were open. It remembers the text that was selected in the document. It remembers where the palettes were and the windows and everything, just how you like it. Number seven, autosave. From the beginning of using computers, we've all had to remember one really important fact. Save, save, save all your work as you're going. Whether it's file save or command S on a Mac, you better keep saving. Because the one time you might forget to save what you're doing, something goes wrong and what are you going to hear? you should have saved what you're doing. <laughs> well, why should you? Why can't the computer help you? Well, that's what Lion does. Now, Autosave gave us a great idea to go even further with the next feature, and that's called versions. So you're working on a document, you're entering the text, you're formatting, you're adding copy, you're adding graphics, and all along, Autosave is saving your document. In fact, it's saving all these versions of your document as you're working. So we call that versions. 
It's automatic. You don't have to do anything. We'll do it for you with Lion. If you love something in a split second, you can, of course, take a manual snapshot if you want. And it's very efficient. We only store the difference between the versions. They're not whole new documents. Well, as long as we've had computers, we've wanted to share documents. We have a new feature to help you do that and make it easier than ever. It's called AirDrop. You've got your computer. Your friend's got their computer. And trying to get documents between them has always been such a pain. In fact, the easiest way to do this that no one's done better than is good old sneaker net. Copy it off of one, walk over to your friend's computer, copy it back on. Well, Lion solves that with a new technology, AirDrop, that's a peer-to-peer, -peer, Wi-Fi-based network. So how does it work? When you go into the Finder in Lion, you'll see on the sources on the left a new choice called AirDrop. You tap it, and you get a new display inside the Finder. What you see is yourself, center, bottom right there, and the people around you who are also running AirDrop at the same time. You see their pictures. If I want to drag a, a document over to Shauna's computer, I just drag the document on top of her picture, and it asks me, are you sure you want to send this? And I confirm I do. On Shauna's computer, because she's also now running AirDrop, she sees, pops up over my picture, I'm trying to send her a document. She confirms she wants to receive it, and it downloads right into her downloads folder. And that's it. That's what it takes to now wirelessly share files between Lion computers. And that brings us to number 10. <laughs> number 10 is Mail, a completely new version of Mail and Lion. It's beautiful. The layout on it is incredible. It works in a window. It takes advantage of full screen. You can work in a two-column, or if you want to have access to your mail sources, a three-column view right there on the left. And you see that the design of it is really optimized around reading your mail. You have a beautiful full-height message window. On the left, in the message list, you see snippets, like we used to from iOS, now built into Mail. Across the top, you have a favorites bar, sort of like a browser does. Now in Mail, that can be favorite folders where you like to keep things and you want to get at quickly. So those are the top 10 features of Mail, and there's so, excuse me, of, of, of Lion, and there is so much more for you to learn about and discover in Lion. Amazing features, just to bring up a few. I mean, don't Windows users who want to upgrade to a Mac deserve a migration feature just like we Mac users have? Well, now there is in line. When you upgrade from Windows, we can help you migrate and get to a better computing experience. Uh, there's File Vault, too. Yeah, so for all of you who want more security and encryption in your hard drive, you have that. FaceTime's built in. Even servers all new with Lion. Server isn't another operating system. It's just a bunch of applications you can purchase to run on top of Lion. So amazing depth of features for you. And for all the developers out here, we have over 3,000 new APIs for you to take advantage of the power of Lion. Amazing stuff. You can do all the things we showed here. You can have full screen applications. You can create versions. You can take advantage of autosave. All of that can easily be done with all these new APIs. So Lion is an incredible new, new release. So how are we going to get it? Well, in the past, one thing every version of Mac OS X has shared in common is it came on an optical disk. No more. Now, Lion will be available only in the Mac App Store. And that allows us to make it the easiest upgrade you have ever seen. When it's ready, you'll go into the Mac App Store, and you'll see a page there where you can read about it, see screenshots, read reviews, and when you're ready, click Buy. And it downloads right onto your Mac and starts the upgrade process right there. So it's on the Mac App Store. It'll be about four gigabytes in size, about the same size as a single HD movie that you might download. It installs right in place, no more rebooting from an optical disk. And because it's part of the Mac App Store and the Mac App Store rules, it follows the same rules. When you purchase it, you can use it on all of your personal authorized Macs. You don't have to buy multiple copies. But what would you charge? Well, in the past, most major releases of, of Mac OS X have been $129. And I think there's a lot here for $129. But we love it so much that we want to make it available to even more people. So we're going to price it at just $29.99. <laughs> So when do you all get your hands on it here at the conference? We're going to have a developer preview, the latest developer preview available today for you to download and take advantage of everything you've seen up here. And for customers, when will it be available? In July. So very, very soon, coming in July. So that is Lion. We're on our eighth major release of OS X. Continuing more than a decade of combining the power of Unix with the simplicity of the Mac. And now, less than one year later, we're here to announce Mountain Lion.
With Mountain Lion, our mission remains the same, to deliver the world's most advanced operating system for notebook and desktop computers, with an interface optimized for multi-touch trackpads and mice. And at the same time, Lion makes it more natural than ever to work with the other new devices in our lives. Now, Mountain Lion is a major release with over 200 new features. And this morning, I'd like to detail just eight for you. And we're gonna start with iCloud. With Mountain Lion, we had the opportunity to build support for iCloud right in. So when you sign into your new Mac with your Apple ID, we automatically configure all of these applications to work with iCloud. Next is a feature I think you're really gonna love, Notification Center. It's coming to the Mac. So banners slide down from the top of the screen right there into the upper right-hand corner. And if you ignore them, they just slide out of the way. But you can always get back to them with two fingers from the right-hand side of your trackpad. You can slide out and reveal Notification Center with notifications from all of your applications. And when you're done, you just slide it back. Now, alerts are for things that you want to make sure you don't miss. So they come in in the same elegant way, but they stay around until you dismiss them explicitly. Now, sometimes you may be doing something where you don't want to be interrupted by notifications. And Notification Center provides a nice little switch so you can temporarily disable those banners and notifications. And if you're presenting and you connect to a projector, we'll do it for you automatically. <laughs> Next up, dictation. We're bringing dictation to the Mac. Next is sharing. Mac users love to share. There's a share button right there on the toolbar. If you click it, we present all of your sharing options. If I want to share to Twitter, for instance, just select it, get a cute little tweet sheet, type whatever it is I find necessary to share with the outside world, click it, and like that, it's on its way. And we built sharing in across the system. So if you're in preview, for instance, and you want to share the PDF you're looking at over messages, you can do it. If you're in any app where you can quick look, for instance, you're quick looking an image, you can post it up sharing over Flickr. And our support for uh, sharing is more than skin deep in Mountain Lion. Support for sharing services like Twitter is built right into the operating system. So when you go into system preferences and enter your login information, enter it just once, and any application you've authorized can access and connect to those social services. Next is the new Safari. The new Safari in Mountain Lion has the fastest JavaScript engine of any browser on the planet. You type in it, whatever you're looking for, and Safari will present you with a well-chosen top hit. Yes, this is a very useful feature. Now, sometimes what you're looking for is something that you were browsing earlier, maybe on one of your other devices. Well, now, Safari has a feature called iCloud Tabs. You just click the Cloud button on your toolbar, and you get a list of all of the pages you have open across all of your other devices, including your Macs, to a new technology in OS X that we call PowerNap. It's a great name, isn't it? <laughs> you know, we all love using our Macs, but wouldn't it be great if when we weren't using them, they were still working for us? Well, now with PowerNap, they will, because PowerNap keeps your Mac up to date while it sleeps. It fetches your email, keeps track of calendar and reminder updates, and even fetches your photo stream. And it gets better. If you've ever brought your Mac home and just plugged it into charge for the night, well now, it'll also back itself up to your time capsule and even download app store and system software updates automatically. PowerNap automatically refreshes data. Its operation is entirely silent. It doesn't even spin up your fans. It goes easy on your battery, and it's compatible with recent MacBook Airs, as well as that gorgeous new MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Next is AirPlay mirroring. AirPlay mirroring is absolutely the easiest way to get whatever's on your Mac up on a projector or television. You just go up to your Mac, to the AirPlay menu in your Mac menu bar, it shows you any Apple TVs that are nearby. You select one, and instantly, you're mirroring that content in up to pixel for pixel 1080p resolution. And finally, Game Center. And with Game Center on the Mac, you have your same Game Center account with all of your Game Center friends, where you can track all of your achievements, 
and also keep track of all your games, both iOS 10 and iOS games. But of course, Game Center is ultimately all about gaming. And we support both turn-based and head-to-head -head gaming, both Mac to Mac and cross-platform iOS to Mac. We're going to be delivering it to customers next month via the Mac App Store. And you know, while Lion was priced, I think, very aggressively at $29.99, we want even more people to get their hands on Mountain Lion. It's going to be just $19.99. And this price is for upgrades both from Lion and all the way from Snow Leopard. And your single purchase will upgrade all of your personal Macs. Today, you get access to a near final developer preview so you can get all your, your apps ready for Mountain Lion when it ships next month. That's Mountain Lion.